Hi, I'm Nick, and in this PC Answers video tutorial, I'm going to be showing you a quick way to speed up your Windows start time. Now, for this tutorial, we'll be using a small piece of software called Auto Runs. We haven't been able to provide that on the disk for you, but it is a small download from this Microsoft website, and the address is printed in the magazine as well. Now, when you go to the site, you'll see the download link on the right hand side and it is a tiny file really, it's less than half a megabyte so it's not going to take you too long to download. When you've downloaded the file, which is a compressed folder open it up and you'll see there are four files inside. The one we're interested in is auto runs and I'm just going to drag that out onto the desktop for convenience. Now when you run auto runs the screen fills with a, a list of entries and descriptions and file name paths and all sorts of stuff. Don't get too worried or confused by that. What it does is list all the, all the software that's available to run on your computer. But these tabs further define categories of software and the one that we're interested in this time is the logon tab. So click on that and the view is just restricted to things which run when you start up the computer. Now a lot of applications will run the helper applications at, at start time. This means that when you come to run the software later on it will start that much quicker. But obviously it does slow down the, the boot process of your computer and it does take up some memory as well. So you may wish to remove some of these applications. For example, iTunes Helper. I don't think that I really need that, so I'm just going to click there to uncheck that box. And now the iTunes Helper file won't run when I reboot. You can see I've already disabled the, the QuickTime Helper. Now be careful that you know what these things do. For example, uh, the NVIDIA View Wizard, well, that's actually quite useful if you want to change the display settings. Uh, it runs down here in the system tray, and it's probably worth leaving that there. It isn't, isn't very big. Now, of course, if you do decide at a later date that you, you can't live without these helper applications running at startup time, then you can always come back here and... and tick in the in the box again to to make them work as as they did once before and that's about it when you've when you've deselected those things you may wish to save the the list in auto runs format um, but there's there's no real need to and you can just exit the software and next time you boot up you'll boot up a couple of seconds faster maybe